Yeah, I'll react to that. Sure. Hey, guys. All right. Jay Foreman. My name's Connor for new. Hello. History videos, all of all the things on this channel, the second channel. Uh, why do they make that noise in PMQs? Uh, I, I don't know what the noise they are talking about. Let's find out. Let's go. Hope you're all doing well. This episode of Politics Un Original link to the video, top of the description. Boring is brought to you by The Great Courses Plus. Have you ever watched Prime Minister's Questions? It's brilliant. Every Wednesday at midday, MPs are given... Is there a higher setting? Nice. 30 minutes to ask the Prime Minister any question about anything Order. they like. She doesn't know what the questions are going to be, and she has to answer all of them on live TV. It gives the PM a chance to prove how good she is under pressure. And the leader of the opposition, who gets to ask six questions, gets a chance to prove himself as well. Labour. Democracy at its best. No, I don't, I don't care who you, what, your political affiliation. Sorry. Or is it? This PMQs is like any other House of Commons debate, and all the usual strict rules apply. These ancient and befuddling rules resemble a rowdy student drinking game. One, you can only speak if you're standing up. Two, no second person pronouns. You have to say, Mr. Speaker, does the Prime Minister agree? You can't say, Prime Minister, do you agree? Oh, will. <laughs> All right, I get it. The Prime Minister, can't the Prime Minister? Just the Prime Minister. Boing, the Prime Minister. Three, no clapping. Clapping would drown out the sound of sensible debate, which is why they make this noise instead. <laughs> By the way, I just snorted. Phone. Hey, that used to be the words here, here, but it slowly evolved over time to sound more like ear, ear and then ear, and then eventually. <laughs> Four. No names. The members refer to each other as the right honourable gentleman, my friend, my honourable friend, my honourable friend, her friend, the member for North East Bedfordshire, and so on and so on and so on. Even if they're not friends over there, and so on and so on. No All these rules have been put there with the express purpose of making sure MPs respect each other and debate like mature adults. Ironically, it's these very rules that allow them to act like nine-year-old children, especially in PMQs. Most of the PM's answers are surprisingly polished and well-rehearsed. Like a good stand-up comedian, she's an expert at dealing with hecklers and segueing into her own material. Sorry, the only thing I don't like about this that I do prefer in uh, one of the few things I prefer over in the uh, U.S. is that I love all, a lot of the traditions and stuff like that. I think a lot of it's better, you know, going up and answering these questions and you got to answer them. But... I, I, I think when someone starts to speak to give their case, there's not that like, eh, like let the person finish, I think, before you start, uh, you know, voicing your disapproval. You know, maybe, maybe it's a cultural or a teach their own. I think that word actually describes the right honorable gentleman's leadership. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and the responses from the leader of the opposition aren't much better. In fact, if you listen very carefully, you'll notice there's very little interaction between the leaders at all. Since dinosaur times, PM. True, there's no let like one person talks, so one person talks one subject and then the other person just says something else unrelated to get back. This has been a theatrical display of one upmanship from all sides. It's an opportunity to show how united your party is in decibels, to get good sound bites on the news, and perhaps most shamefully of all, to ask questions you've been told to to make your leader look good. Can I ask the Prime Minister, given her unwavering commitment to deliver? economic stability yeah. and will she ensure that economic uh, stability and national security remain the guiding principles of her premiership that man sleeps at night <laughs> is it true you're amazing pmq shows politicians at their very worst and can put people off politics entirely so that's why some people are now calling for the yeah. whole thing to be scrapped but for now, Prime Minister's Questions is here to stay, and it looks like it will be with us for many more Wednesday afternoons to come. And that noise they make will probably evolve into...
Hello, what are you doing? I'm studying. No, you're not. You're watching a video. Ah, but it's not just any video. It's a video from The Great Courses Plus. Great Courses Plus! That sounds interesting. What's it all about? I'll tell you what it's all about. Basically, The Great Courses Plus is a subscription on-demand video learning service with really good lectures and courses from very, very good professors from Ivy League universities. That sounds really good. It is really good. And there's no exams or homework. That's good, because I don't like either of those things. How many different video lectures are there? There's like 7,000 of them. Oh my god, that's loads. It is loads, isn't it? And they add more lectures every month. So could I find video lectures about something really specific if I wanted to? Like what? Like about the hit? I just noticed now that he has mustache painted. <laughs> Just, this is a must More lectures every month, so could I find video lectures about something really specific if I wanted to? Like what? Like about the history of England in the Skills 16th share? century, including oh, information about how Parliament came about. Yes, they've got a really good video lecture about that. And could I also find video lectures about stuff that's not that specific in the grand scheme of things? What do you mean not that specific? Like maths, yes, they've also got maths. Oh, that's really good. I like the Great Courses Plus. Great Courses Plus! Is there Math? a way I could try it out for free for about four weeks? As a matter of fact, there is. If you go to greatcoursesplus.com slash Make sure to use the J Foreman if you do. J Foreman for a free 30 day trial. Click on the link Helps in the description below to start your free trial today. Oh, that's, that's really quite good. Right. That's really good. Really very good. nice. Good. Awesome. 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 Very awesome. great. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. awesome right there. All that's perfect. Great courses like. club. Use it. Awesome video. And, uh... All right, guys. See you guys next time. See you.